What's going on guys, Kyger here, and in today's video, I'm going to explain to you teams for your fairies and why they're so important and how you're leaving damage on the table. Let's get into it. Alright guys, fairy team sets and why they're important. Let's take a look over here, fairies, and let's go to formation. You can see that I have Team 1 uh, right here, and you'll see that there's a Team 2, Team 3, and Team 4 is locked. How you unlock these, because you only start with Team 1 from the beginning, is uh, if you go over here to Spirit and uh, Feed Spirit, well, you'll actually see down here uh, the level of your spirit, Miru, you'll see above my head, Miru level 61, and this is everything I've unlocked with Miru so far. Level 2 auto battle, level 8 enhanced equipment, dance experience, and then Flower Fairy team 2, 3, and 4. How you level up Miru is by feeding him over here. How you get these crystals is over here uh, act by doing your must-dos. If you complete all these over here, you'll get 500 points, which you will then use for this guy right here to get these chests, which will give you those crystals, as well as you can get them in the store right here for sapphires. But this one's worth a whole lot more experience than that. Now, once you have two, three, or four teams what does that let you do so from here the main screen you'll see above my head my cp my combat power and then you'll see my two active fairies next to it if i switch my weapon you'll see my other two are right there so that's my four fairies for uh team one but if i hit this down arrow to the right of uh, balloon then you'll see team two and team three i currently don't have a team three on here because i was testing something but you'll see my uh, Team 2 uh, will have my 2 Earth and 2 Fire, uh, which are directly below the others. Now if I click Team 2, I immediately swap. And if I want to swap back, it has a 5 second cooldown to swap back. Uh, so what you can do is you'll notice uh, once I swap back, keep an eye on the cooldown of my 2 Fire Fairies when I click that. They don't reset, but they have their own cooldowns. So why I guarantee you're leaving damage on the table is what you can do is I can use both my fairies from here on my cannon, swap to my sword, use both my fairies, then swap to team two, use both those, swap back to my cannon, use both of those. So I can use eight fairies in that short short amount of time now if we go and we look at fairies and the glossary there are uh, the mythical fairies there are four five six seven eight nine ten so you can have four eight twelve in three teams and down here at the legendary some of these are worth looking at so if we take a look at uh authorium right here he gives you a heal over time and then you have sunflower right here which uh, makes your enemy unable to heal. Uh, then you got some boosts, some AoE damage, things like that. So there are some legendary ones that are worth looking at. So it's not a strictly whale thing I'm showing you. Some of these legendary ones down here are worth it and will do things for you. Uh, they, you will obviously want your mythicals to be your main source of activations. But if you want 12 and you have 10 mythicals, then grab two legendaries and you won't have an issue. And you may as well have the legendaries instead of having free slots, right? Now something uh, else, I, I'll go over this in another video, but just as a reminder, even though I'm currently uh, using fire right here on team 2 on the right, I still have my bonus from Earth on the left as well if we go over to fairies and formation you will see i have the fire and earth echo which because they're both active even if i'm on earth i have the fire effect so if an enemy's weak to b fire or earth i get it and the bonuses if i swap over here to where i have water and 
um, sorry, holy, because a holy uh, goes with anything. But if my second one was a water, then it would be water and wind. And if any of my opponents were weak to water or wind, I would get the bonuses during that time. So if my primary target is weak to fire, then I'll be doing my swap, 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 swap. But when I'm in between cooldowns, I will make sure I'm on, in this case, team two with the fire bonus. So I have, during my downtime, bonus against my target. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, advanced strategy down below. And if you already knew about this and uh, if you're going to use it in the future. Till next time, guys.